Paige and today I'm going to be showing you my signature eye makeup and winged eyeliner because I had a request on to do on I had a request on my video where I showed you different hairstyles to do a winged eyeliner tutorial. So I'm gonna do that today but also show you all of my eye makeup. So yeah, let's just get started. I don't want a long intro. So basically I just start with putting concealer under my eyes and on my eyelids just to prime everywhere that eyeshadow could potentially go. And then I take my foundation brush and just sweep it and just blend it in. And no, this is not what I do every day, but this is like my favorite like makeup look, I guess you could say. Well, eye makeup look. And the winged eyeliner, if I mess it up, I mess up my whole eye makeup, so yeah. Okay, so now that my eyes are primed, I just take Foxy from my Naked 2 palette and pat that on my eyelids just as like a base shadow. It has a tiny bit of shimmer in it, but it's matte enough for me. So, let me just get out my eyeshadow brushes. So basically, what I like to start with is the crease. So I just like to lightly dust off my eyeshadow brushes first. Just so make sure there's not a lot of excess product on it. So basically what I like to do is I take this small um, shadow brush and I take snake bite and just put that on the outer V almost like I'm winging my eyeliner but not exactly. And then on the other side. And then I blend it down into my lash line and up into my crease. It almost changes my eye shape when I do this and I really like it. This lighting is not good for doing makeup. This line here is just a shadow. It's not actually makeup or anything. And then I like to take um, I like to take Verve and take it on, where is that eyeshadow brush now? I can't find it. Whatever, I'll just use my finger. I take it on my finger most of the time anyway and just pat it on my eyelid, being sure to spare that uh, snake bite that I put on my eyes earlier. And that just adds some silver shimmer, which I really like. And then I take Busted on my pinky finger because I find it has the perfect shape for placing it where I want to. And then I place it right where Snake Bite was, but a bit lower down. And this really just deepens up the eye. Sorry, my mom. That's my mom. And it just really deepens up the crease and the eye makeup look. It really, I feel like it's like makes the whole thing. I might have to go back and add some, take some off, you know, kind of adjust it more. I usually don't take any off or just blend it out more. Okay, this line is bugging me. It's a shadow of my hair. And even like this here is not the makeup. Okay, I'm just looking up into the mirror. Okay, so now I take um, this white shimmery eyeshadow and put it in my inner corner. And I don't put it on my brow bone because like it's shimmery and I feel like it's just like too much shimmer. Okay, and usually that is it for the eye makeup. But sometimes I, I, I lightly dust half baked into my crease. So I like to add some gold into it. I feel like it just makes the whole eye look pop and just kind of really changes it in a good way, that is. Okay, so that is basically the eyeshadow. I sometimes, if it's a special occasion, like I'm going on stage or something, 
or I have a performance. I had a big black, but I'm not going to do that today. Now, Art Honor Time. I don't know why I did that. But now it is Art Honor Time. So this part is so difficult, and if I mess this up, all of my eye makeup goes downhill. <sighs> Let's pray to the makeup gods that I can get this straight. Oh no. My prayers have not been answered. Oh no. I think that my mom thinks I was talking to her. Okay, so that winged eyeliner is not perfect at all, but this side usually always turns out better, so. I'm not gonna start Mom's the Kid Friendly channel. Okay, so that's basically my signature eye makeup look, but wait. Eh. There's one more thing that I need to add. And that is mascara, obviously. So I usually use this mascara, it's not my favorite, but it's, it's called Extreme Black, but I think it's more of a grayish tinge. It's not the greatest, pretty clumpy. Okay, and then if we really want to make it my signature makeup look, we need to add just a few more things to really page it up. We take the shade, or take the shade Glimmer and just put this on the tip of my nose and then blend it up and out. And then put a tiny bit on my cheekbones. Now all we need is a high ponytail. And then, wait, there's something missing. Something, something. Oh, right. This lipstick. My favorite. So yeah, this is my signature makeup look and this is I don't do this every day obviously um but when I have like an occasion sometimes I wear this every day without the eyeliner um but yeah this is like the makeup look that is like so me so yeah I hope you liked it and maybe you learned something from it and I forgot to really walk you through the eyeliner part but basically what I do is I start with the tail usually and I have it come extending off of the lower lash line up toward the point of my brow. And then just connect it and make a line. So yeah, if you want me to test some other eyeliner techniques, then I'll totally do that. So thank you. Bye.